guys, Kitty Caliper here today, and today I'm going to be telling you what I think you should be buying ARC in 2022. With ARC on sale at 67% off until December 22nd, free to play this weekend, and with Lost Island just being released. Don't worry, if you're late to the party, I'll still tell you why you should buy it, in my opinion, even at full price. As someone who has played for many, many years, I thought I should give some reasons why you should jump in. Number one, all the maps that you can play on. This game seriously has hours and hours of unlimited gameplay. Even if you just buy the island, there's still so many free maps, whether you're on console or PC, that you can play. And for those PC players, you have unlimited access to mod maps. Number two, there's so much to do. Whether you like having a goal to defeat bosses, delve deeper into the story with explorer notes, making your own story, grinding or missions from Gen 1 or 2, building, taming, breeding, caving, swimming, or just starting over to get the thrill of a kill. This game is absolutely amazing. Number three, the community is great. I've been in many gaming communities and this by far is one of the most supportive ones out there with active community managers on Twitter and Discord along with the knowledgeable creators and players. If you have a question there will always be someone there to help you out. Number four if you can't find an answer to your question or someone just doesn't answer quick enough while well, your first dodo's purple bar is going down way too quickly there are tons of resources online that can help you. From the ARC wiki, to Dodo X, to YouTube, to even Reddit. Just ask a certain question on the Google machine and you're bound to find thousands upon thousands of answers in any way you prefer to learn. Number five, the different game modes. We have PvE, which equals player versus environment. PvP, which equals player versus player. And SP, which equals single player whether you like playing and making friends or even playing with your friends in a friendly manner or becoming a mega tribe to wreak havoc against all who walks in your land or you prefer to do things solo there's servers on official or non-official or single player to fit all your gaming needs number six the game is still so active even after six years and with even a new map coming next year and hopefully more seasonal events still rolling out, they will be keeping us busy until ARC 2 releases and the animated series to watch while we play. Number seven, they celebrate their community and they also help charities too. From weekly community crunches where they show off weekly art from various fans and even videos from us content creators, they love to celebrate us. And they even have annual 24 hour charity events to help the extra life foundation i feel that they honor us and they are proud of everything we do and a bonus there's dinos enough said now of course everyone has their own opinions and every game of course has its cons so here's a, a little list of things to watch out for if you are considering to buy number one space and memory the base game alone can be anywhere between 60 to 250 gigabytes depending on what exactly you're downloading and not only that if you're downloading extra maps and extra maps you could be looking at more and more space being used up as well as updates and patches you could be screaming in pain for how much memory it takes up so do be warned that you might have to have some extra room for this game number two updates and release delays looking forward to a new map could get really exciting but wildcard is known for kind of not being on time. So I always suggest do not take the day off of work on release day to play your favorite game. Give it a day or two just so they can either get it out or fix some bugs for your most enjoyable experience. And make sure to keep up to date with ARC announcements and notes just by joining the Discord or even following on Twitter. You can find out so much information. Number three, bugs and issues. ARK has been known to have tons of these, so be warned from servers being completely shut out after releases to certain things not spawning, to losing your whole saves, to some other things. 
please be warned, it does happen. And I have lost many, many saves to either my own stupidity or ARC just being ARC. But before you panic when something goes wrong, do your research. Ask friends. Ask some communities. There may be a fix or one coming shortly. I have become seasoned to losing things, but that first time does still really hurt. Now, like I said before, there will be differing opinions to whomever you ask about this game, and everyone is entitled to that. But keep this in mind, all games have their problems, but they all ha also have great things about them. In my opinion, this game is one of the most magical games in the world, with still so much to do. My childhood dreams have come true. The good really outweighs the bad. With so much to do and explore, it is the only game that has kept me interested. Believe me, that's really hard. And it literally gives me chills and emotion every single time I play. So that's where I'll end it today to you seasoned players. Let me know in the comments below your pros and cons list so the new survivors can make a decision right for them. For you new players out there, welcome. Be sure to sub for my pro-ish art content and don't only take my word for it. Do your research and make a decision right for you, but I can't wait to hear about your next adventure. So don't forget to join the Discord to tell me all your stories. If you did like what I provided for you today, feel free to hit that like button. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And why not help me get to my goal of 500 before the end of the year? I hope you guys have a super duper amazing day. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.